Hello everyone, this is Logan with fpweb.net and today we're here to talk to you about our course registration template. So in this template you can see we have a uh, course here already filled out um, by an admin with eight seats filled in it and we're going to show how a user would register for that course. So you grab the course ID and the other information for the course and you enter it into the fields here and you can see at the top it says items on this list require content approval. So your submission will not appear in public views until it has been approved by an admin. So in case somebody enters a course ID that is not valid or um, for whatever other reason, um, you can deny that user um, access to that particular course. And so you can see here we're inputting the course ID. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and note that it does not yet appear on our schedule because it has not yet been approved. So we can then go into our course registration list and of course see that here it is currently pending. So here is the admin approval email. This is entirely customizable. We've just got it very bare bones for now. And you can go into the course that you see pending here and hit approve or reject under actions. And then approve or reject the course and you're free to give a comment if you so choose. And you can see under our admin course schedule, you do not see that course as registered because there's no point because it's not your course. But under our test users who tried to register for the course, you can see it populates there just fine. And if you go into the number of filled seats in the course, it has updated to nine. That's all for this template. Thank you for watching.